Hi, I'm Dr. Corky Wilhite, and welcome to Cosmonet's Tip of the Month. This month we're going to be talking about using DMARC to improve your posterior composite restorations. Here we have a uh, class 2 prep on a, you know, what would be a pretty typical situation, a fairly large old amalgam taken out or something. There's a little bit of a pit here uh, in the middle where it went deeper, and you've got the box, proximal box on the mesial. A matrix system is set up here. So now this would be in the clinic as if this was already etched and the adhesive has been placed. And now I'm going to place the DMARC. And actually normally what I'll do is squeeze a little bit of DMARC to the tip and wipe that off and then come in with the fine tip and place that right along the base of the margin of the restoration or the preparation. And then I'm going to use the multi-use instrument, which is my favorite instrument for making um, or, you know, or doing posterior posits in general. And I'm going to run that DMARC up the proximal uh, margins. Make sure it's a little bit uh, thinned out. We don't want it to be bulky. But the DMARC is, is special because it's a little thicker. It's going to fill the any little gaps. It will adapt very nicely to those um, margins. And because it's a little thicker, it doesn't flow quite as much. And then I'm going to cure that first. Then once that's cured, I don't have to worry as much about moisture contamination because that margin is going to be sealed and have good adhesion um, even if there was a little contamination with moisture. Now I'm also going to come across the rest of the floor of the prep. And you could do this all at the same time, but it's kind of nice to split it up. It makes it into a little easier or more user-friendly um, aspects. And uh, then I'll use the multi-use instrument again, which is just perfect for adapting into the corners. This will get rid of the sharp corners in, in the restoration, adapt to the entire floor of the prep. Also this material is a little more opaque, especially before it's cured, so it's a little easier to see where it is. Because in the, in the mouth, um, you don't want this to be up at the clusal margin, and if it's too much of a match to the tooth, it's hard to tell if you're at the margin or not. So I'll just make sure that I've got it, the entire floor of the prep covered, but not bringing this up to the occlusal cavo surface margin. If I a little bit gets on the margin, which sometimes might happen when you're uh, initially dispensing the material into the tooth or as you're smoothing it, you can always take a, um, a flat instrument like the IPCL and scrape off the excess that might be on the margin or a little micro tip brush and do that. And then once that's filled in, I'll come back with the um, light curing again, cure that for 10 seconds, and then I'm ready to do my posterior composite. We can look up along the sides of the tooth and see that this doesn't come up all the way. Again, it's a little more opaque than most flowable liners are. So it's easier to see even down in the box. I've got a very thin layer coming up across the uh, facial and lingual margins and certainly also down at the um, approximal uh, where the margin is deepest. And so we get a much better bond this way with a better chance of no micro leakage or secondary decay. Also this material is highly radiopaque, which makes it really easy to see on the x-ray. So when you examine the x-ray, there's no question that it's not just a, a might be decay. Some flowable liners are radiolucent, which means they can look like decay. And this is very uh, helpful to be sure there's no mistaking that when you are looking at x-rays um, in the future, or the patient might go somewhere else and you wouldn't want the dentist telling that patient that they have decay on a new restoration. The really important thing about DMARC is that it is highly radiopaque so that you'll never misdiagnose decay. When you see these restorations on an x-ray, you will absolutely positively know 
that there is a liner of flowable material there and not a dark space that you wonder if it might be decay. Um, there's some other advantages to using DMARC, though. One of them is that it's a little more opaque before you cure it, so it makes it a little easier to see where you're placing it, so it doesn't get up on a margin where you don't want it. Uh, once it's cured, that opacity becomes much more like the natural tooth. It's also more viscous than most flowables, so it won't flow quite as easily over onto an area you don't want it to be. Uh, that, that slightly higher viscosity might seem initially like a disadvantage, but actually it helps you to control the placement of this material. Uh, the marginal seal is better when you're using your DMARC as the first layer because it helps to make sure that along that margin you have a small amount of a composite that's being cured, so polymerization shrinkage is less of a factor. And that also helps post-operative sensitivity. You should be able to eliminate a lot more of that with using a DMARC uh, in your restorations. The nice thing is everywhere a burr may have left a sharp internal uh, line angle or a little corner in there, this material will smooth that out, which is better for um, overall composite placement. And uh, if it's a surface that's kind of rough as you place this material, it'll actually smooth that off for you, again, helping enhance the placement of your ultimate uh, material that you're using for the uh, posterior composite. And um, with those tips in mind, I hope that you enjoy using DMARC. It's one of my favorite things to use when I'm doing a posterior composite. Thank you. Place that on the pink opaque so that we're able to get a bond to that hybrid. You don't want to bond to the pink opaque. We then will re-prepare the teeth after the hybrid uh, material is placed over all the teeth. And you can see now the preparations that have been done.